was it was it was harder than you than I was unable to get the the, the look I was looking I was going for, so I had to you know resort to Photoshop. The design, oops, not so serious. The design. Oh, what are you doing? Off? The design. <clears throat> I've made like a number of like changes. Oh, yeah. Like I, I made like a, like a right. number of and um, well, not changes per se. Yes, I mean, arrange it properly. That's how it's supposed to look. Then this shot, this one, I'll be here. And I think as far as as far as yeah. you know, as far as things go, I think we we basically nailed you know we basically nailed the look on Webflow. That and was all we, like we spent, this. You know, this is what we spent all of yesterday doing. Um, someone asked a question. Someone asked a question on how to change the background to transparent. Okay, so I, I went over this yesterday, but what I can do is I'll just I'll I'll, um, I'll upload the video with that. Okay. But the the thing is the, the longer shot of it is that you just need to just you know mess around with the properties. How to do it is there. What you, what you're looking for looking out for is this thing here backgrounds. Yeah, you probably have like a block. So what you would just do is just set it to to none. So that's what takes it away. You understand? That's what basically takes it away. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So let me check on mobile doing so far. And as you may have noticed, what I've been doing so far on mobile, rubbish. <laughs> like very fantastical rubbish. So that's Kata. Of course, it will scatter now. This is expected to happen. What? Yeah, so I think definitely. What I what I now need to do is to ensure that um, it's not just it's not an ugly mess. So let me see. No, this one. I hate to do that. I don't know what I need to do. So anyways, this is happening here, hero area. So what I can do is I can push this upwards a little bit so that it doesn't, this looks better, significantly better. This can be here, that is fine. However, uh, So, so someone asked a question. All right, cool, cool. So, um, okay, this can be here. I can scale it a little bit. I don't know. I think this is a good. This is a good number. So let me just adjust it manually. This is fine here. And um, this cloud needs to go somewhere. <laughs> I think you can move it down now. Yeah, I mean, I can move it down. But what I want to do with the cloud uh, is tricky because if I push it down, then all it's doing is this. It's not going to have that. It's not having that full that yeah, exactly. It's not having that full-on effect that I want it to have. So one way to do this would be to um, oh boy, they need to do this. I'm trying to remember. Fit, contain, cover, none. Ah, so that's what happens. So when things like that happen, what do you do? What I'm basically doing is a juro, like advanced field juro. <laughs> it's basically a juro. And it's, it's, going to, it's going to catch me. It's going to bite me in the end, one way or the other. OK, wait. Let me see if I can, if I can do this without. No. Why ah, is a juro? 
It's a jury that has to happen. All right. Ah. Okay, so I can then push this. Uh, I can then push this this way. Yeah. Like this. So I think this is a far better solution. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> this is a far better solution. Why are you changing? Okay, let me. Like, I don't know. Like, you've already solved the problem. Now you're, you're, you're changing mouths now. What kind of person are you? Fit. Oh, it keeps, it keeps, it keeps staying this thing now. Why is it? So let me check on my phone. Pretty sure. Let me check on my phone. Yeah. Crush this. Aha. It looks perfect. It looks perfect. Like Jesus. I couldn't have even done it better myself, to be honest. Okay, so what we can do is we need to like tighten up the um spacing around here so maybe i'll just set this to you know like zero zero seems fine zero is also fine here zero zero what are you 20 20 is fine but this can't show you zero um Okay, let me see if I if by dropping the height, I, I, I make the situ, uh, situation better. Okay, that's fine. So, gearing up for bold adventures. All right. So this is this is not bad. This is not bad. Let me publish this. So let me let me let me put the link. Let me share the link on the chat so that you can be checking it on your phones. And if you notice anything, yeah. anything. Yeah. Let me know. Uh, so let me use it from there. All right. Um, well, it's not for lack of trying. I really wish that you know people are able to join, but they can't join. There's always video. Um, yeah. So, oh God, where's this boy? I'm, it's him I'm actually using style to wait for because. That's me. Yeah, what's up? Hey. hey. G, what's up? This time, boss, so happy enjoyment. Yeah, enjoyment. Yeah, I'll not get food for us. I'll be hungry. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're watching your complexion, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good. Yeah, no, no, new one. Yeah, watching your complexion. Which guy dirty complexion am I watching? Hmm? Uh, you, you, what does that do? Look at my skin. Look at my skin. In fire. <laughs> Okay, so so far so good. We've gotten up onto this point here. Yeah? We've, we've performed visual dark magic. No, actually, we've performed wave flow dark magic just to get this. Yeah. Um, so the next thing, if we look at the design, um, which we have here. So I think what, what's just left is just to um, create like a section that yeah, just. Yeah. Hopes um, yeah, there's all this text and some other um, random stuff. I think it, from this point on, it's actually relatively simpler. Um, we are, we've already done our hero area. That is weird. Hero section. So all we are just going to do is we're just going to add a new section. Um, we'll just give it a class of um, notify. Did I get that right? Really no fair spelling. Does anybody have this problem? Yeah. Um I don't know if they have this problem. Your writing just your your, your writing became significantly worse. 
recently? Yeah. I think I've I think I've experienced something like that. Because like every time, every time I try to write something, yeah, I just notice that my writing is just deteriorating. And Enough. My writing is deteriorating and it's insane. Like, you know how you start, you start, you have to like double check in your spellings and everything. Yeah, yeah, because. <laughs> Oh, there's so much that, 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 that requires fixing. What have I done to you now? Okay, okay, okay. Evening, Kalezi. Hey, Abba. Hey, Richie. I did welcome. It. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so you haven't yes. missed. Yeah. I'm so, with... Okay, I haven't missed anything on me. So the current status of things is this. Over the night, I had to work on this um, rocket because apparently the image you sent me or the image I was using was wrong. Or had not that it was wrong, it had problems. Was so wrong? Know, not wrong, it had problems. You know that new shadow that that, that new shadow rocket you sent me, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Apparently it had it had a glow. A white glow. So each time I tried to apply oh, the shadow, it was the shadow didn't look. The shadow was looking weird. So I had like I spent oh, trying to figure out what was going on. Okay. You get so I think I got one that you sent me, and then I you know I just. Went to, the answer. Oh. Okay. Okay. You, the... Yeah. Okay. So you will notice that you know I basically fix the clouds. The clouds are working perfectly well. Um. So what we are, what we want to do now is we just want to, um. What we want to do now is we just want to add this text that is on that. It's, it's just pretty standard, you know, standard work. So I just copy this. What font am I using again? I just want to be sure. Minimum glass I was wondering. Okay, so it's Poppins. Uh, it's not. I'm not using Poppins. Yeah, for oh boy, yikes. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Oh, uh, what? No, that's wrong. All right, so puppies. Puppies, normal. Normal, I want to 20, 20 sounds. I want you to have a. Nice. Hola. Hola, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> eh, sí. <laughs> that, 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 possibly, I, I swear, I don't even know what else, how else to act. You won, you won. You, you know more Spanish than you ever knew. Honestly, Hi, you you Linda Cage is, like, is back up. Sorry, did I what? Linda Cage is back up. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like the link. You know, you're working on the Linda Cage link. Yes, yes, yes. It's back up. So we're returning. Okay, there's no, there's no comment. All right, so someone was asking me what I use. To, let me see. Let's look at this. What plugin are you using if you want to copy your content? No, so in. It's not a plugin. It actually comes with Figma. Um, so if you go to, you know, on your right, you have your design prototype. You go to inspect, and then you select text to show you all these fine details here, you know, including properties, typography, and content. By the side, by the time you hover on this content, you copy it. 
that's how I'm able to copy. Understand? You understand? Excellent. All right, so let's see what we can do with this. So let's see what we can do. Is, um, let me check how it looks like on mobile so that you know, we know we are not, we are not engineering this. Excellent, you're welcome. All right, so for the width, let me do a little bit more mobile. 80, 90. All right, so we have this. This looks good. Um, go back to our normal. So maybe here I'll just push. Ah, this, this looks dope. Yeah, a little bit. On mobile. It looks dope on mobile, eh? Yeah, on mobile. Yeah. Like, I was, I was actually pleasant. Uh, you know, you are pleasantly impressed or you are pleased with yourself. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, it's it's the cloud itself, the way the clouds look. I really look good on mobile, Sha. I think my audio is coming in late. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, there's lag with you actually. The, oh yeah, so there's a reason for that. The reason for that is because um I if I tried to make the clouds go under the text, it becomes quite distracting. Yeah. So let me publish and then refresh. Mm. On 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 that's okay. Oh, okay. You have like a lot of real estate to like really take it. But on mobile, you don't want that kind of confusion happening. So that's why I decided to mm, no, it doesn't even looking at it now, like if, if you check on your mobile phone, yeah. You take your mobile phone now because I just yeah. it, it doesn't, it doesn't you didn't share the link. Did sorry, Leslie, did you share the link to the website? Same link. Let me okay, let me put it on the chat. But it's the same link. Oh, okay. All right. So I've I've um I've undone it. That's that's good. We to actually look at it. And that works well. Then um everything is is going well. Everything is going well smoothly. So what we need to now do is we need to add um we need to add an input element. Let's look at our design. Oh yeah, there's another header here. Let me just call you. Uh, All right, so I, let me duplicate this. Oh yeah, that's not going to happen. It's not going to work now. My watch is excellent. Good. And yeah, so we have this two. I'm going to duplicate this class. I'm going to name it. Uh, get node by underscore header and it's going to be a little different. So let me just copy the text from here. Get notified. So I'll just push this to like a good descent 20. I'll change the style on this. So maybe it will be like semi bold or maybe like more like full on bold. It looks nice. That way, it's 20 pixels, mm, that's fine. Um, maybe I can drop this to, let me drop this a little bit. That's fine. Again, if I when we launch. So after that, I think the next thing that we're gonna be adding is, uh, the next thing we want to add is uh, an input element. So, now you notice that I think uh, what's called Webflow will not let you just drag and drop a text element without creating or uh, creating a form element first, or at least dragging and dropping their form block first. Right? So let's do that. Oh, let's okay. give Webflow what, what yeah, you yeah. want. Oh my god. And the first thing that it presents you with is Jesus. So you notice, um, you notice that um, what's it called? The form it just stretches from end to end, right? Are we good? So one way to actually now call that is um, what we can do is we just select 
the form block. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, yeah. So what happened was that form block landed outside of our section, our notify section. So that's why I was able to, you know, do whatever the nonsense it was doing. So let's remove the things we don't need. We don't need this. Mm -hmm. Uh, the name, email address. We don't need this extra. extra. Really. What? What is it? Sorry, the lag. Sorry, I was laughing at the form. Just continue. My lag is just something else. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, let me see if I can give this uh, in percentage. In percent, I can't be right. Ah, that's what's happening. Okay. Let me make this a flex box. Let me see if, let me look at the style here. One pixel, okay, 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 okay. let's come back here. Um, I'll give it a height of, Forty-eight. Usually keep my forty-eight. That seems fair. This is does not seem to be working, which is weird. I think you should create its own section so that you can. Still lagging. Let's see. Just check. okay. Yeah, it's still lagging. So bad. All right. Let me see if. Ah, why? What's going on? No. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, so that's why. Twenty. So I think yeah, thirty percent sounds sounds fine. Yeah, I've I've basically fixed it. So I mean, this looks weird. We have uh, um, this at forty eight, and um, we already have a button class, but it's kind of different. So let's even let's just like get this one first. You know, give it a name, download. So it looks. Eh. Um, but we want to give it uh, a subclass. Let's just call that subclass orange. We'll change the text to white and we will change this to, mm, that's wrong. That's the wrong color apparently. All right, let's, let's get the authentic color. Copy, X, come back here. Put in the X. Oh boy, something is off. Oh, that's still weird. Jesus Christ, Figma. All right, so that works. So let's let's give this thing some styling. It's in percent. What is going on here? Aha, I thought as much. I think it's competing with the, um, okay. Uh, that's not right. That can't be right. All right, so let me just, let me just fill out this first. So, uh, notify me. It's okay. This is not looking right at all. Mean height 48 with 20. Maybe it's built. Okay. Vertical. So everyone has rest of mind. Then why, if that's what's happening, center, okay. Why is this 180%? It shouldn't be. Uh, 
100 seems fine. Um, then something we need to do. Let's work a little bit on the border radius. I'm pretty sure the border radius is eight. And that's fine too. Um, for this guy, let's work on the shadow. So box shadow. Let's look at what we have here on Figma. Shadow. So this is the this is the settings for the shadow. I think it's um, eleven down the y-axis. Blur strength of ten. Let's set that. Distance. Let us see. Eleven pixels. Uh, Blur strength of ten. Um, there's nothing on the size. We can set this at. 90. Oh no, that's wrong. So we'll just make that 180. Looking. Oh, she's looking bougie. And then let's now adjust the color. Color looks great. Uh, so we'll just set the transparency to like uh, 20. All right, so I think that covers that. So I want to, I, want, I just want to like put some small distance between the button and the text field. And uh, let's publish, see what that looks like. Um, Yeah, this is long. Oh, okay. So the reason why it's this wide is because I didn't set I set the width in percentages and not in um I set the width as a percentage and not as in pixel. So on a wider screen, it would look wider. Just so, so as to fill out space. But I think that's fine, at least in this in this uh, scenario, I think that's actually quite okay. All right, so let's give some um, let's give some distance between the form and the bottom. Maybe like a good 60 pixels will help. So I think we're basically done with the oh dear lord. So I think we're missing. Hmm? Whenever that thing happens, you go and do another. So if you go and make changes in another breakpoint, and you're not aware of it, because uh, it is frustrating. I, I I was almost through one project. I made that mistake. I spent two days <laughs> adjusting. So so, so the, 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 what I decide what I. Uh, one scope that I've been using of late is that um, any change or anything I'll update, any change I make on the uh, web, instantly I'm going straight to move out to make sure to make sure that change scales properly. You get because imagine imagine going far on web and then having to now track back. To fix your problem, do you get? It? So, even if I write P on 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 web, I, I always transition back to mobile to to fix it. I'm learning my lessons small, small. Mm -hmm. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. This looks very good. Oh, okay. Yep. Very Just good. Check on mobile. It's good. All right. So let's get back to our default. So we've sorted out the notify. We've sorted out the hero area. We've sorted out the header. So I think the next thing to actually sort out is the footer. 
So we'll just create like a new section. We'll call it footer. We'll, we'll, put, we'll just put the default there, 100%. And then maybe like a mean height of say, um, 30. Now, inside that footer, Inside that footer, wait, let me see. What's that of our footer again? Let's like just say, like, I mean, I don't think that should, that should solve that problem. So we'll just need to close on, close on, close on. So mm -hmm. we are also going to add mm -hmm. the background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're also going to have a background of uh, this is our background. So we'll just copy the hex. Or in this case, we we'll just do a manual copy. Because I'm pretty sure when I do this, yeah, okay, so it worked. Uh, why is it now suddenly? Why is it that? Why does this feel darker than what I have here on Figma? Ah, so Sorry, that's Leslie, you, you yeah. can you can copy like from Figma and paste in Webflow. You can copy certain things, not everything. You okay. can like things like text. Yeah, you can copy or okay. the full visual. No, you can't. So mm -hmm. I reduce the opacity of uh, to like twenty. Because that's what I have on on a fig on Figma. Let me publish. It's looking all nice and shiny. Well, okay. That was close. Thought that was my point. Okay, um, so let's look at let's look at what we have here on the Sigma. So I think we have um, one column, two column, and three columns, essentially. So it's not an issue of how to now arrange them. All right, so I think the best thing to probably, oh, the easiest way to actually deploy this would be to use grids. So I am not stressing yourself. Okay, uh, Leslie, I have a question. Yes. When do you decide that, okay, this is the best place to use grid, this is the best place to use columns? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I think before, before you go ahead, before you your question, yeah, I think there is no one way to actually get it done. You get. There's no one correct way. You can do it a number of ways. Like what I what I actually want to do with this feature is instead of using grids, I'll just use like a bunch of, I'll just use like uh, a bunch of divs and you know call it a game. A bio, a bio. That's what I usually do. But I see they're using grids. Mine was the judgment. No, no, no. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, grids is just educated divs. If you look at it. Okay. So you you really don't need to like be be scared. <laughs> okay, so let me. Um, I don't know if, I, if putting this on auto would be a good idea. That's not going to work. So let's just push. Which is what I have there. On ET. Let me see if we can break this thing in percentages. Oh boy. 180% sends the entire thing in. <laughs> to an entire geography. Oh, 20%. Oh, no, 
okay, 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 okay. We can do that because the same twenty percent is also going to happen here. I just realized the importance of using percent. Huh? Because percentage. Percentage does. Present it does some amazing calculations on your behalf. Like I'm, I'm seeing it already. It doesn't. It's just that, it, yeah. It, 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 it's just that so when it comes to following the Figma file in uh, in detail, if you are using um, percentage, you won't know which percent actually works with what mm -hmm. you have in your Figma file. Yeah, yeah. So that's the challenge I usually have. Okay, so let let me set. Let me, okay, let me set this. Let me give it a um push oh boy, no, let's not do that. That's weird. KP, what are you doing? Stop attacking the floor. So this is one thing I never really like um understood, Twitter understood uh, details. Like you try to you, you have you have a div that is inside a section and and you try to set the margin for that div so that it's pushing away from the top of the section, but it doesn't do that. It carries the parent div with it. I never really did. I never really like like that. So I think what I will do is I'll just set a margin that does the heavy lifting for me. So the margin basically is going to push the div that is inside the the parent div. Now there's a concept. There's the, the way they refer to these things. Usually, parent div, child divs. You you hear this this kind of things a lot. You know, if you're a bit, if uh, you are working with developers, or if you're, if you are familiar with HTML, or if you are studying to actually learn HTML, you hear things like parent div and, and, and child divs. So the child div in this scenario is the footer details. The parent div is the footer, and inside. Uh, so what I want. To, so the, what I was describing was, if I try to, if I try to push, if I try to set the margin of, the margin top of a child div that is inside a parent div, it doesn't always work. It pushes, it pushes the parent div along. Do you guys follow? I hope you guys follow. Please tell me you follow. <laughs> Huh? Just come, come again, Leslie, I beg. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of coming that, that's going to happen if I did. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you are setting the margin for the child div, it affects it, it affects the parent div? No, okay. The, so, what the margin I'm, I was trying to set is the margin top, yeah? Now, see what happens yes. when I try to adjust the, the, the margin top, the top margin for the uh child div oh it works now because i've already assigned i've already put uh padding on the parent div which is the footer but if i removed this and set it okay. to zero and then i selected the the child div and then pushed you notice that see it's moving it's, the parent div is moving with it we shouldn't oh, be this is the first time i'm having the, i'm seeing it though you understand? We shouldn't be. So I think the easiest workaround would be to assign a um, assign a padding to the parent div. Then the child div now has something to push against. Do you question: Is the parent div a, a section or still a div block? Oh, it, it, it's a section. Actually, section is. Like, I think. I, I think that um, section is basically a glorified div. Are you confused? No, like, like usually when I when I input my div and I create the margin, I usually hmm. don't have this problem. That's why I'm shocked that it's happening. Let me, oh, my laptop is down. Okay. So try, try this thing out. So let's let's quickly get to it. So inside this footer detail, we're, we're going to have uh, another div. It gets messy from this point on. We're gonna have another div inside. We'll probably call it. Let's look at what we have here. We have um, footer. Do we have footer detail? Footer detail item one. I think that's. I think we'll just call it footer detail item. <laughs> All right. We'll call it footer underscore 
item. I think that's better. And inside of that, we'll add a header. But of course, not a big header, a small one. Um, it's going to be um, poppins, and it's going to be all caps. I think what I have here is address. And then the color, it's going to be, you know, dim. Yeah, this is it. This is exactly what I'm looking for. All right. So, um, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Then, um, what, I'm, what else am I adding? Inside our footer item, we will be adding um, some content, basically. Um, Richie, are you still with us? I'm following you. <laughs> yeah, I'm following. Oh, um, yes. So I, I, I think I think I found out where the problem is coming from. Okay, where's the problem? So from? usually, once I create a section, I always uh, create a container first before giving uh, ID. Ah, uh, okay. So, so, so if you have a section and a div is directly imputed into the section. That's when that thing happens. But if you drop a container first before the div, it won't happen like that. That was why I was just shocked that ah, we did that one start. <laughs> What's the name of that song? That, that container song. Thirty million container, container. Yeah, nobody will care for it. I'm not embarrass myself any further. <laughs> the song no blue. That's all right. <laughs> No, no, let me tell you. I feel no singer. I thought it was dope, no? Let's not, let's not hit on, on, such, a, on such a dope song. It's it dope, but you know, blue. There are two different terms in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Why are you just hating? It's, it's, people like, it's people like you that, to, that, that, that will go ahead and say that, that uh, what's good. Zack Snyder's court was, was, was a flop. I, know, I am I here never, to judge. I never <laughs> watched her yet. No worries. If I watch her, I'll come for you people. <laughs> watch it. See, 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 see. Watch it. You have my pleasure. Mm. Go ahead. Watch it. Watch oh, it. Na, see, na DC. Na, na DC. If they like me, they will call Russo Brothers. Na DC. No. no, like I, I'm also a Marvel person, but like once I watched when I watched it, like I was impressed. I was impressed actually. No, you were so, not impressed. Okay. There's a, there's a okay. You said you were not impressed, you were blown away. Don't lie. Okay, I was I was blown, I was blown away because I had very low expectations. Okay, okay. It, it, it's okay so that you don't increase my expectation too much. Okay, sorry. So let's leave it at that. I'll go and watch it. <laughs> you see, my problem with this is that they pay more attention on the visual effects. We need more than that. We need more than that. Ah. You die. You die. You die. You die. But the visual effects is everything. Visual effects, actually. No, it's like, I think visual effects. It's not so. Like, like, of your movie. Every other thing is plot and uh, storyline. Oh, but the plot and the storyline is okay, actually. Plot, storyline, story I think plot is basically storyline now, but plot and dialogue, those are plot, storyline, dialogue, and casting. Yeah. Because I, 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 do, I cannot imagine The Rock playing Superman. It would just be wrong. You, but the flash, I'm not too comfortable with the, the guy that played flash. I don't know why. Barry, would you have preferred Grand Gustin? Yeah, maybe. This no. one is just, I don't know. He was, he was trying too much. No, 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 no. I think, I think he gave a very, very good performance. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'm comparing with um, Spider Man. Not both of them are acting like the same role. 
Yeah. A similar, a similar role. The young superhero trying to like yeah. find his way in the world, something like that. Oh, oh, hope he changes it. That is Suto. That stupid flash. Wait, the, 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 no, for, for you know, Pep, for you know, <laughs> really think about it. If you really, really think about it, that's how his suit is supposed to be. If you look at the is physical, it like look? It looks heavy. If, if I, it just looks heavy, like just too much. Is it flash? Flash? Yeah, flash. Uh, flash. If you think about the physical, I thought... that's, that's how you see. The, I thought Batman, Batman just... would give me an upgrade. Though. No, Wait, but Batman is just it. No, no, nah, it's not Tony Stark now. Yeah. But Batman it's as rich as that now. Nah. Now nah, to it's buy a... bank the problem. Now nah, to buy bank the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Can I even help somebody? I honestly thought I was going to help him to change, like I was going to give him an upgrade and make it look better, but it was still the same thing. Batman does not even uh, minimize his his uh, suit. Now I want to go to the next suit. <laughs> I don't even know how he jumps in that in that thing. That thing is too heavy. The like the cape is, is too heavy. The cape is too is long. Heavy. <laughs> how is he jumping? <laughs> <laughs> I want to fight him. I do that. I do that, I do that when, when he goes down. <laughs> first of all, you cannot be Batman. Let me first of all start with that. You cannot be Batman. Do you see how grab and thick that guy is? He's not flat. Okay. Not that guy is built like a tank. That guy can take a beating. You understand? That's why he's Batman. Wait, I don't. I don't did like. He, did he actually fight with Stepping Wolf in that movie? Like, did he fight as much as Aquaman and Wonder Woman? Let me, fought with yes, Stepping Wolf? Let me ask. Let me answer your question by asking you another question. When no, I'm I'm not I'm not criticizing. I'm just asking, like trying to remember. Not like I'm like criticizing him per se, like that. But when when Tuesday came to attack, was it got to the Metropolis? Who did the bulk of the fighting? That's in Batman versus Superman. Don't know, Justin. Who did the bulk of the fighting? Eh. Yeah, no. Because he had that suit from Jumia now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> <Because they're not, laughs> all he did was running away and trying and trying to stop okay, okay honestly oh, oh. over the years I've, I've agreed with the fact that when uh, the villain is coming they all you know they throw they, they cast lots to pick their favorite villain. So people like Batman will pick people that don't have super power to fight the Joker. <laughs> people like Superman will now pick the yeah, yeah, yeah. See, let me tell you something. Joker's superpower is his madness. Joker's superpower is his madness. Like, you can't tell me the difference. Where you go do for small Vina? You know, <laughs> go mad for small Vina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, like they are very intentional in picking the villains actually because Joker I'm cannot face so it's villains that pick their heroes no okay okay Joker know who he wants to fight <laughs> 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 yeah. you know, like we are boys we are going out to cause chaos so who, who are we who? picking Batman no, see, they'll, ask, they'll ask him Superman, he'll shoot the person that says Superman and say, no, it's Batman. <laughs> Superman, po! Aquaman, po! <laughs> Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman. Uh, po! Uh, no. <laughs> po, po! <laughs> he won't throw that guy during myself. <laughs> you understand? Okay, alright, 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 I've got one, I've got one, I've got one. Cyborg, come, me down here, you are mad, you are very mad. Me down here, I'll eh? set you Cyborg. Cyborg will melt him. <laughs> Cyborg does not have patience. Huh? I was going to say you guys should not spoil the movie for people who haven't watched it. But oh, yeah. uh, like, sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not that to me. I've, I've seen it. It felt like one hour. Thank you, I, please, thank you. But some of us, we don't even understand what's happening. In the movie, I've not watched it. 
I've not watched it. Anyone here has not but watched it. See, for me, it is this. If you, if DC if DC board board members can sit down and put a pass mark on Wonder Woman for theater a bit thirty eight to hit me. <laughs> Ah, my guy is the pay. <laughs> he pay me. No, 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 no. How? How did that happen? How did that happen? That one of money is over. Has no business. Absolutely. Stop, man. I'm, I'm a bit tough, and I'm worried about it. Come on, let me... Come on, let me... Just break my mind. Too many unmuted mics, so... Yeah, yeah. Someone is just breaking it. Hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. mm. The guy is going break down, so then let me, let me explain now. I'm like, ah! <laughs> There's the offer now. No idea. What's cracking? What's up? Now my mic. I'm already sharing NFT for him. I've been waiting, waiting for that NFT. Waiting for that NFT. Mona, help me. I read and read and read and not understand. That's why I know. So I, I, I don't really have like a, a concrete understanding of what NFT is. I know that it's just a way to ensure that creators get paid. Uh, not just get paid, it's a way to authenticate the uh, ownership of a body of art. <coughs> body of art. So you, um, if you create art and you NFT that shit, anybody who has a copy of that art, digital or otherwise, literally has a copy, but can never lay claim to owning it. As in, can never lay claim to um, either owning it or creating it. NFT NFT ensures that. At least that's that's the way I understand it. So, and you know, I wish I created artwork back then, <laughs> so that I could sell. Because man, God knows how much um people um got paid for all his stuff. He got a lot. So the thing is, um, there are different ways to go about it, right? You can create an artwork and you know it won't have any value, or you can create an artwork and it will have value. That's entirely yeah. up to you and your audience. However, mm -hmm. what NFT does is that it ensures that when value is being attributed to it, if mm -hmm. it's in form of someone making a purchase for the item um, mm -hmm. to claim ownership. Um, and we, that can only be done with cryptocurrencies. You would, it would still, um, you would get the actual, um, what's called, you get your payment as due, right? Because you are the only one that can, that has authority to sell that artwork. However, that person buys the artwork from you and depending on your agreement with the person, you can still claim royalties for cases where the person wants to resell. So if, for example, because of one useless hype, because to be honest, everything is just based on hype right now. I can't, I don't know why our talks have been over and style. It's just hype. <laughs> so depending on how much hype your art talk starts getting or yeah. and how people want to jump into NFTs, if the person sells the artwork to someone else, because you uh, opted in to get royalties, you can still make money off of the person's sale and then and so on and so forth. Right. So it's just a way of keeping track of ownership of um, of digital assets. And it's not just for artworks. People just, the like I said, just hype. It's not just for artworks, it's for anything. So in a case where you, you have the NFT for a particular product and you're selling the product to someone and it's in one of a sell or buy uh, scenario, do you hand over the NFT to the person? Yeah. So do, do you know how blockchain ledgers work now? There's a proof of transaction and your your terms, basically a smart contract that will get executed. So you state your terms there, and then um, once you know both parties, once you've agreed or stated those terms, and the contract is executed, whatever you agree upon is what would um, follow, what would fly. So if you agree to give 100% ownership to the person, 
that's what will happen if you agree to give um, maybe um, 80 percent and then you take 20 percent ownership and keep for yourself you know i don't know how the program I like i still don't get the logic behind it but i know in a way it makes sense in a weird way it makes sense we just haven't found the concrete use for it yet i'm waiting to see how platforms like spotify or um, apple music would use it to pay royalties to access mm. that would be solid it would right it would yes now because uh, all this one that somebody creates a uh, pixel artwork and then it will now be sold for 5500k I'm, I'm i'm it's not entering my head i can't process it <laughs> my man doesn't do <laughs> I'm not joking. If I understood it, I put on I put on runner, but I, I don't understand. Uh, someone was even trying to like, get my attention to like try to like start creating anything. Like when and it, it sounds good on paper, in my opinion, I think. But man, what I think though, if you're a creator, just try and get your hands on NFTs. NFTs are the tokens that you can use to um, attribute your work. So if you can get your hands on Tokyo, there are different platforms where you can put it. There was an article someone posted um, on me. There's on, no foundation. Go app. Yeah, there's foundation um, um, dot app. So if you can yeah. get your hands on, on the NFTs, on the tokens, whenever you create an artwork, you publish on the platform, um, attribute your token, they charge you commission fee or transaction fee or whatever. And then uh, you find people that want to just buy into the hype. Hmm, now we find people that want to buy into the hype. It's true now. True. But yeah. So nobody has. <laughs> I don't no, understand. Like, you, you, you just teach us what the team be. You, 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 that's what that we get. Yeah, ah, that we get. <laughs> why, why are you yeah, like how? this? Hmm? Explain yourself, please. They say if you don't ask question, you don't know anything. So let me ask question. I beg. In this case, now we ask questions. You are you tell us so we, that we can't know something. So <laughs> why are you trying to turn the team? <laughs> um. Oh. 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 So that's what happened. So for. If responsiveness be like this for Webflow, how is it on JavaScript and the rest? Like, sorry for developers. Whenever I'm doing this stuff, I just repeat it there. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, that's true. They are being paid. They are being paid. Secondly, second, secondly, and I say this because I am paid from my soul. Do you know how many in the starting years when UI UX was, you know, was just what, what was in fact as at when UI UX was still called front end design. That's how old I am. When UI UX was still called front end design, do you know how many no's I, 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 I've had in my life? How many no? You see, this is no. This is no. Same developer will call your attention and tell you that. <coughs> and I say, look at this website. Can't see you. Is your maze that did it? <laughs> Which one do you want now? Like, come on, let me know. Like, come on. So now that everybody is now that everybody is eating breakfast, hmm, let's all work for our salary. Hmm? I will give you a complex. Design. Your job is to translate it or go and find a new job. If you say no, <laughs> where your mates implemented it, <laughs> then you will explain to our ogre why it's not possible. Um, let's see what you're saying is actually a serious thing because a lot of people suffer from from not wanting to do too much because they are pitying their developers. I mean, I've suffered that thing too. I know they pity anybody. You know that. Uh, <laughs> you that <laughs> boss now. <laughs> My own issue, my own issue is that the place I'm interning in, like the, I don't know why, but the product lead is a back end. 
So like most of the things I'm supposed to do, it makes it very easy because you only say add this feature because it's very easy to implement. So I don't have that freedom to make things that are very comp- complicated design because he's not telling me add it and let it be like this. Don't put this feature and don't put it like that. So like I think I don't know whether it's punishing me or it's helping me. That's just what it is. It's stifling your growth. So, what he said. No. Like, let's say said, he's getting paid. Probably more yeah. than you are. And he's trying to make his life easy for himself. Is it issue well done? You know, that kind of thing. So, I'm, um, see, I'm the pity them. Give it to them for thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Expand your, your own creativity. Don't limit yourself because of all that. Give it to them hot hot. They say, ah, this is not possible. I like you see your mate. All you want to do to it. All you want to do is to it to be counting Tetris and we call it dashboard. That's your that's your that's your highest accomplishment, dashboard. Yeah, later you're not gonna tell me that ah. Can't you, can't you make your work like carry wise, carry wise key there? Uh, I swear they're always comparing uh, all these. Or the, uh, uh, this thing. make it like this we want there's someone i met like he, he, want, he wanted a design he wanted it to be like Gigi. he doesn't have any particular like take on what he wants he wants something exactly like Gigi. is that an information supposed to use like that's your brief that's the brief he gave me open gg.com and design it and change the name thank you very and, much that's what, that, that's what I just told you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, case close. <laughs> Take a look at this thing on your mobile phone and marvel at what we have created. Magic. <laughs> what? <laughs> when flow can sweet, eh? Mm. Swear, like this is this is a sight to behold, and mm. man. I, I, I have to say, man, Jesus Christ. Where's the text? Oh. Boss, I don't know, I know see your text, too. Text? text. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, you don't miss a transition. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, hell, yeah, Leslie, oh, my own question. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So what's your question, sir? Yeah, so in terms of positioning, relative, mm-hmm. absolute, yeah. Waiting they be honestly because for the click I don't understand what they happen. <laughs> let, let, me, let me say to you to be honest. I know what that means because I have I have I have uh prior knowledge on HTML. Okay. I used to write before, but I don't know how to explain it to you. Do you get I, I, I okay? I understand I understand absolutely to the point that. You can pick a particular position in your viewport area to yeah. put to fix that thing it and it will be there. It is it will not yeah. it will not take into consideration whether you have a div block, you have a, a, a container and all that. But yeah, relative I, now, I, okay, I, go ahead. Relative has to do with the position of an of an object in relative to the, uh, uh, relative to the position of other objects on the screen. Okay. Absolute, on the other hand, basically takes itself from the, it just takes itself away from the hierarchy. That's that's why you are able to move. You know, when, when you set an object to, to absolute, that's that's why you're able to move it around as freely as you, as you like, without breaking the structure of the of, of the rest of your design. Do you oh. understand? Okay, so if you're moving it around, it would not affect anything, whether it's on top, not below, around, yeah, nothing. Okay, okay, nothing. All right, so this looks good. Now let's 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 perform some more black magic. <laughs> yeah, how far, Leslie? Yeah. I'm not sure the company profile appears on mobile. Oh, you guys in the community? Then another thing is we didn't um, we didn't optimize it, optimize the breakpoint for iPad. Okay, yes, we haven't. Hold on, we haven't. Down, down, down as much. 
Now, the general idea behind that button was so that it would appear on top of the cloud. Now, I can decide to do that, Bo. Hmm? I can decide yeah. to do that. Hmm? I can decide to do that, Bo, and set this button to absolute. I can decide to do that, Bo, and set this button to absolute. Yeah, and then just move it. Yeah, and then just move it. To where you know, to where body is sweet to where body is sweet. In this case, I will probably just add like some shadows. Case, I will probably just add like why some am I echoing? We are echoing. Why am I echoing? We are echoing. Who is the echo factor here? Yeah, the gossip. Wait, oh, what is button? <laughs> This button mm -hmm. is it? Uh, you just moved it like from the position it was on a normal um design mm -hmm. um, breakpoint. Wait, remember, you know we have two of these of, of these uh, download buttons, right? Oh, right, we right. We have two. Okay. We have two. One is here. The other one is hidden. While that, while, while this one is here, and while we go back here, oh. one of them is hidden so that this one can shine. You get. Yeah, I yeah, a, yeah, I remember. Okay, okay, yes, yes. Have a flash image still present because it's going to come back and bite me. Okay, so let's see. Why did you make that decision? Is it hindsight or what's happened? How you tell no say you need it? Eh? How you tell no say you need the two buttons to achieve this? Okay, or no, so you so supposed to no, that header yesterday. Okay. <laughs> because it made no sense to actually put the, the download button at the top. It looked ugly. So and I, I didn't want to, I didn't I didn't know because the top we are using the now uh, I didn't know how to push the download button. Push we are still echoing. I don't know who's who, 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 who the Anyways, so I didn't know how to push the download button out of the. So I didn't know how to push the download button. Benjamin, it's you. Benjamin, is the Echo Man? It's from Echo Man. Is the Echo Man from Echo Man? Echo Man, I better go. Ah, oh man, that was that was dope. That was that was just dope. All right, so let's make this 25 and let's make this 25 as well. Set this to percentages. 25. Hopefully, this is in the middle, although I, I, I highly doubt it. This thing is not in the middle. Does it feel like it's in the middle? It does feel like it's in the middle. It looks like it be, it looks like it's closer to the to the left, down, left to the right. down to the yeah. So let me what about now? Mm. Okay, while that's happening, let me just quickly sort through the shadow. Make this one that we'll make this um 22, I guess. We'll make this. Hey, good. I'm just doing that. <laughs> Let me find it how I did this one. Okay. Um, top left radius pass through. 11. All right. 10. Bluff up top 10. 10. 11. Size seems okay. Uh, mm -hmm. What? Okay, so um, 
So I need this button, this color code. Um, I should actually, no, cancel. So I should actually save this chocolate. Oh, this is chocolate. This is certainly not how chocolate. No, okay, I'm getting it wrong. I'm getting this. The button colors are different, no? Yeah, I know. I'm getting it wrong. Particularly because of this. There we go. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Yemi. All right, so I think that is fine. So maybe we can come here. Maybe uh, reduce the distance a bit, no? Keep that, oh boy. Put that there. Blow out the blow factor. Uh, maybe this can come down a bit. Although I, I'm beginning to suspect that this button is going to be, it's going to hide, it's going to get lost. Ah, uh, what am I doing? This button could actually end up staying here and the world will not break. Hmm? I mean, guys, wait, wait till nothing. I think it is very all right where I do. Mm -hmm. Although that middle part now looks kind of empty. Uh, uh, more rocket, less white. Yes. Button at the top. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But can we animate this thing in in Webflow? I know there's some animation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so the problem now, well, the challenge now is my animating in Webflow is still quite spotchy. But I'll try. I will try. Mm. Uh, but this website, yeah. you kind of animate it in your head, right? <laughs> when you look at it. you animate it in your head now. Where else are you going to animate it? No, I mean, like, if we leave it like this and somebody just visits it, you kind of, you know, you complete the design in your head as you visit the site. You make <laughs> the rocket, rocket launch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Okay, so, yeah. um, I don't know. I have this feeling that if we leave this thing on absolute, it's going to have, we are going to have display problems. So let me set it back to reality here. Yeah. Yeah, relative screen size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Relative yeah, to, All right, so let me just set everything, to, let me just set everything back to auto, auto, auto. It's where it's supposed to be. Now, if we follow that, um, header, header, header. So it just follows that this will just be. All we do in, in this scenario is make this guy a message. Uh, send everybody a message, let it in the middle, and let me give this one some give this one some margin to push it a little bit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, problem solved, problem staying solved. End, end of discussion. All right, let's even let's even ensure that what we are doing is has not broken. No, no. <laughs> problem solved, problem staying solved. Oh god, this is gosh. Like you can, you can literally, like, you can literally feel the rockets, rockets here in a way. All right, so <clears throat> thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank yes, you very is much. It, is it? Is it the Webflow 101 you used to learn Webflow okay. or there's some other... Okay, so two things, two things, two things contributed to my knowledge of Webflow. Like I said, one, okay. I, already, I already used to write HTML, so I'm quite familiar with how, how web designing works at a, code, at a code level. That's number one. Number yeah. two, when Webflow actually came out, I, I used it. Then I stopped for a, okay. a very long time, actually. I stopped. Okay. I only picked it up last year. Okay. Scratch and itch, you understand? And that oh. it was um, Google Host. Okay. Yeah. That, was, that was it. Oh boy, where is this thing? Uh, Google Host. But the idea was to redesign. Google Hosts website. Ah, it's weird. Let me go to my medium. Ah, oh, because I wrote what looks like a case study. I thought you said you don't like medium. Well, yeah, I don't, but I put some, I put things there sometimes. Okay. Redesigning Google Who's website with Webflow. This was done in May last year. Okay. And um, huh. those who want to, if you want to, if you want to read it and have a good laugh, just you know, have a good laugh. Just, you know, here's the here's a link. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh. There we go. Like this. All right, so that's that for, for Google Host. <clears throat> is this your redesign or this is the website itself? Sorry. Oh, okay. That's cool, though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right. One more times one thousand. All right. Um, so let more. Let's 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 get back. No. Let's see. Hey, boy, I'm not finished answering my question. Let's do now. Oh yes. I told you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> no, what? <laughs> no, I know. I okay. The answer involved um, a giving me a, a way to learn web flow. You said you started with HTML. You have knowledge of HTML. Um, you just, mm -hmm. just which tutorial? Which video tutorial did I did I use to update myself um, last year? I can't even remember, but I, I think it was. Um, I think it was. Oh God, it was this one. Um, Webflow beginner. Personally, I started with the Webflow University courses. Mm, okay, that was used, yeah? Yeah, Webflow University yeah. courses is a good one, but that's not what I was looking for. What I was looking for was... Um, recap? No, not a recap. Someone was doing okay. something really amazing. And I wish I could yeah. find it. I even watched the guy redesigning the website first before I went to the university courses. This is what it looks like. In this was the one I used. And do you know the funny part about, about this thing? Yeah. Do you know the funny part about, about, about this entire lesson here? Yeah? When I started, this is where I stopped. 18 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I just I stopped here yesterday freestyling. Okay, few months. Let me just uh, drop that here as well. It's it, no, see, it's, it's not like it's not like the bad one. It's not a bad one. I think it's a really, really good one. I liked it. You get, but it's the kind of person I am. If you teach me, if I want to learn something, yeah, I know they have a full curriculum. <laughs> I know they have a full curriculum. But once I already start, I just start. All right, so hold on, just give me one minute. I need to go pick something up. All right. Hmm. I will sit together. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Okay. So I think what we can start by doing is, you know, trying to figure out how we're going to animate each other's sections. Mm. Ah, this is going to be interesting. So I would want for what I want to happen is I want this background to load first, the cloud to load in next, and then the rocket to come in and the text now comes in as well. What do you think? What is the background and the clouds? The um, background clouds coming coming first. Yeah, no, Wait. the background background clouds are actually just coming first. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Yeah. Then the front, the, the, the this cloud in front is also coming as well. Before the rocket comes in, and then. Um, and then it hits. But now I'm struggling with something. All right, so page trigger. On page load. Or oh, image trigger. I'm not scrolling into this. It's going to be on page load. Um, start an animation, of course. I'm not need out this too. Something I need to get done. Okay, so maybe I'll just do like opacity. Ah, 
capacity. Cool. Um, opacity, opacity, is opacity. Opacity, let's set this as this. Let's set this as 100. So what happens? Capacity. What capacity I'm supposed to do with this one? This one can be zero. So that works for me. Okay, so let's launch our plane. I mean, our rocket. Just on the line. Move. So for this one, we want this. Come from beneath. All right, some spare. That sounds fair as well. So we can set the um, um, cubic maybe. I you can't, this is really, you have to, this is, has to be really adjusted. I think I know what the problem is. Mm -hmm. 
think SAC is the best option for this. Wait, what did I just do? Out. Decent. All right, Jimmy. Bye. Let's add an opacity. Now, I'll just add it to this guy because the opacity is going to be zero. And for this guy, I'm going to add it to this guy. And of course, the opacity is going to be 100. Why am I adding the opacity? I want a scenario whereby. So it looks like it's coming from somewhere. It's not just a plain, a plain slap on the screen. You get it. I'm not adding sound. <laughs> That's you. Really mm -hmm. So even this one, I also want to give it um, a move um, animation. And for the move animation, I just want it to, oh no, to just ease in you know, very, very slowly. While this can be zero. Okay, so maybe like sign, you know, sign my work. Same with this, you know, sign. So let's see, let's go back. Like we didn't mess it up. All right, so I want we want the um, oh Jesus opacity is far. We want it here. Thank you. Oh, that's wrong. That is wrong. Let's play this. Why does it keep disappearing? Like, you're not supposed to do that now. Who gives? Everything is happening in reverse. I swear. That's what I'm trying to find out. It's not supposed to behave like that. 
Ah, no, this is wrong. All right, so there's some things that need to be cleared up. Like most of these things that have start states. So I think most of the things that have start states, I'll just put them here. That's weird. Hmm. I think what Webflow needs is a timeline editor. Yeah, like yeah, because. I don't think I'm, I'm also guessing for this level of guesswork. Ah, but you, you, I've been seeing some of your animations on Webflow now. <laughs> I opened with a disclaimer. I'm not really strong at this. No, we try. We try. Um... Mm. I remember when this animation in Webflow made me go to bed early. <laughs> I just got tired of the whole thing. I'm not doing it again, but you mean good. That means everything's behaving the way it's supposed to. Yeah. Let me refresh one more time. I found a webflow template that just has sounds based on club based on the clubhouse theme or templates. Mm -hmm. I'm like, is it is this someone's boredom? There are a lot of people that are bored. Like, say for example, someone painted Mona Lisa using CSS. I'm like, obviously, this is why people need. They are not just bored, they are well fed. Uh -huh. I'm bored. They want to be well fed and bored. Bros, <laughs> <laughs> bros, calm down for that, your issue. <laughs> If I don't be well fed, usually, usually ends in tears. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, hey, not just tears, premium tears. When people are doing more, <laughs> you are being bored. No, no. Hey. It will propel you to aspire to solve for problems that people cannot I think of. Like you. <laughs> Like, like uh, how how is the water inside coconut possible? Stuff like that. Okay, yes. I go that way. <laughs> you know, I mean, you start doing user experience uh, case study on it. Yeah. Okay. You. Oh, I'm you guys don't hear this stuff. <laughs> Can you hear it? I heard it just now. It was loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, you guys have to check this out for yourself. Mm. Maybe I can even do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clubpad. Mm. Reaction style for, for your, wow, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. This sounds like fun. <laughs> well, imagine if, if this could be stickers. Instead of mm -hmm. just pasting if these stickers could actually interact, make sounds rather. Mm. Not tele telegram. They are the ones that can do something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So far, I don't think this thing being here is beneficial. Ah. Uh, let's go and see what's going on. What the fuck just happened? Why are you in a place where you are not supposed to be in? <laughs> Oh, oh dear Lord Jesus, no wonder. It seems the image five is moving two times. No, not moving two times, actually. It's you have a start and stop position. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's not... It is like a, a timeline in a, in a list form. She's quite yeah. confused. Yeah, it's, it's a very confusing timeline. Ah, oh, come on, it's still not doing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's let's put all these ones here first. See how that plays out. Ah, oh, okay, that's not even, that doesn't even make sense what I just did. So that means. What I just did does not even make sense. So what we can do is. Okay. Ah, uh, so that's what happened. Eh, but it's correct now. 100%, yeah, so what, what's, what's the... What about the duration? If it lasts for 0 0.5 seconds, how long is the entire animation? So far, so good, it's like two seconds. But there's, there's something wrong happening. This guy is not ending up the way where he's supposed to end up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That duration is 0 0.5 seconds. From where it starts, from that um, the first move on image 5 to the last move on image 5, can you check the duration between the difference in duration? 0.5 actually. Okay, 0 0.5. But this... I think that came out well. Image four. So I need to do the 
I need to set this one to like, I need to add a little bit of delay. Oh no, a little bit of delay, maybe like uh, a point three second delay. So um, increase the duration time. The yeah, the duration so that it duration. takes longer. So maybe like but, eight. Yeah. Uh, it's not looking so smooth from my end, but I'm guessing it's because of the call. Mm. Okay, hold on. There's something that is not yet there. So I just put this to delay. Why is it coming from up? What? Hmm, so that's why. All right, so you, in your case, are going Okay, let's publish and see what, where this takes us. There's something wrong with the entry animation for the rockets. This thing should be linear. Let's try that. I don't know why this thing is lagging. Okay, so I want to do things with this.
There we go. Okay, so let's let's make him move. Make him move by the hundred. Also, we want to do, we want to work on the um, opacity. So create the start and end. For the opacity starts, we, we know it's going to be zero. For this one, we know it's going to be 100. Okay. All right, so let's say we group these two together. And then let's say we... How do you group? You just drag them to each other, they will touch and they will know. <laughs> I know, right? It's weird. It's weird as bricks. All right, so let's see if our theory works. Why are you going in reverse, you dolt? Ah. What are you doing? I'm not supposed to be doing that. Huh? You're, you're going, you're, you're going up and down. What the hell? All right, fine. Maybe I'll set this to us as the starting states, but God knows. All right, so let's try this. No, I don't want it to suck. I want it to be a lot more subtle. Maybe sign, I guess. I don't see if I can do like a little bounce. So let's do the same for um, uh, 
Oh, si bukan dari simple, ya. Oh, set class, not small. Oh boy, I also want like a traffic to hit that class. And then maybe like have like I, I wish I could just automate everything and they will have like a point one second delay so that the animation just staggers. And that's not how it works. Ah, it's close. It's close. Close. After previous action, I think that that would be fair. If they have the same class. Huh? If they have, if they have the same class, doesn't that apply? Uh, if they have the same class, eh, it's, I can't space the animation the way I want to. Because I want it to stagger. Do you understand? And what I'm saying is, if you want them to have common properties, you can use one class for that and then have additional classes. Yeah. No, they all have like different classes, yeah. Like this, so there's a common class that holds them called header. But well, this one's header small, this is header large, header large. Uh, okay. What I want to happen is this will come in, this will come in, this coming, but it will be staggered. They won't come in at the same time. They'll just like a slight difference the way they, oh. they enter. You understand? So that's, I mean, that, that, that would have made the entire thing just, you know, do beyond measure. Well, if you have an, if you have a new um, an interaction or animation, won't it yeah. pick off, won't it, I saw just, I just an option that says start from previous animation. Yeah. So you you can you yeah you could wait you could work no 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 it, 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 that's it, I just tried that night it won't give me the result I'm looking for. That would have been that would have been the best easiest way of mm -hmm. I'll put no. Move. Move. Okay, let me just deal with the moves first. So this move is probably like a good hundred, hundred pixels, yes. Oh, this is at zero. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I left for like some <laughs> minutes. I know I've missed a lot. Oh, yes, you have. You have. All right, so let's try the opacity as well. Opacity starts, opacity end. So for this one, it's going to be at zero. And this one is going to be at um, 100. So in order for this, Nanigans to work, we need to take both these guys and make them set them as initial states. Now, we need to do this thing in such a way we need to do it in such a way that you know we'll just drag this in here and here. Then we'll just initiate a slight delay of 0 0.1. Also 0.1. So let's see how that pans out for us. Excellent. Although I need to, I believe I need to set the what did I use? Was it sign? Oh no, it was custom I did. Just custom I did. Yeah, this looks mm. good. Awesome. Look mm, the, the, the first one I, I set it to bounce on purpose. 
I can make oh, this one. Mm, I can make this one bounce as well. So let's let's even try that out. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, let me exaggerate the bounce a little more. Excellent. So that works. All right, so um, same scope, um, move, move, and um, and excuse me. All right, and then this would be um, 100. So let's also include the, the opacities. There has to be a better way to do this thing. Because this one can definitely is not it. I can set this to minus, get this to plus. So you set as initial state. You shall stay with you can touch each other, and then we can then bring this guy in here. In here, and then just set this. Oh, oh okay, so we can then set this one instead of minus 0 0.1, we can say 0.2. And uh, we can then I think we just go back and then just use uh, should be the easy as we use. Yeah, why didn't you just copy from the you know, from the previous setting? I don't know if you can copy. You, I don't think you can copy. Let's let's just see. There's, a, there's too much delay between. Okay, what I want to happen, image four. Uh huh. Yeah, the timing is too much. Ah, God, now you start calculating. I think what you want to happen is to have the have them move independently. Like yeah, they're moving. I've already accomplished that. Yeah. See what see see what my current problem is. Eh? What just happened? So what I want to happen here is let me even publish it so we can see what what, what is going on. Smooth. Uh, this this is okay now. What 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 are, what are you trying to achieve again? So there's a small slight delay when the rocket comes in before the text. And now. The delay is not so bad. It 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 causes some sort of anticipation. Mm. And, and you don't want it to come you don't want the text to come in almost at the same time as the rocket then to make yeah. these um, elements are moving at the, at the same time okay another, another civil thing that i noticed is that this cloud is coming in the same time if not even a fraction of a second before uh the rocket 
and the clouds are actually coming just before um, the clouds are supposed to come in just before. So what I'll do is I'll just jump, I'll dump everything in here, but instead I'll give both the rockets, I'll give the more rockets move um, a minus a point three delay. Same thing with the opacity, point three. How about the clouds? Um, maybe give them some a bit of opacity. No, the, the clouds already has uh, has opacity. The thing, the problem is when the clouds come in. Yeah, we don't notice. I'm not saying we should notice when the cloud comes in, but well, okay, that's weird. Comes in the same time as yeah, that's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to debug. Um, this is a cloud. It's supposed to come in first. This guy is uh, supposed to have after previous action. Oh, no. uh, okay, okay. Let's, let's, not, let's not let's not let's not cause fights. I think that this rocket will will benefit tremendously from um custom Let me see, should be possible for me to thin this down a bit. This is seven. I think it would be nice if I could let you get it go now. But um this looks nice. There's a question. Yeah. Have you played around with Figma's interactive device? No, I have not. And I doubt you I doubt I'll ever be jobless enough ever to be honest. I'm actually trying to use it to for a project I'm working on now. Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't want to have to do multiple times. So I'm trying to use it to create instances. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What was your question again? I was asking if you play, had a chance to play around Figma's interactive component. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I no, I, I haven't. Yeah. I have I know it's still in beta, so it's very buggy. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm not wrong making mistakes, but I'm like, no, this thing could work. Let me see if this thing works well in mobile. Uh, mm. The animation works well in mobile. I'm pretty sure it works, but you know, we can only look at my brain. <laughs> it didn't. No, I think you have to do separate. 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 Mm -hmm. like, don't this is unpaid. <laughs> this is very. This is unpaid work. I think. I, I, I need to... <laughs> All right. So um, I think we've, we've basically come to the, to uh, we've, we've 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 accomplished what we say we're going to accomplish. 
um, we created something lovely. <laughs> it is something really, really dope and lovely. And um, yeah, I like the outcome. I what I like especially is the mobile. I want to see if I can add some parallax to it. I should be able to add some parallax to this then. Let me see. Um, interaction, elements, you know, scroll, while scrolling, or no, not scrolling to view. Uh, oh boy. Page trigger, page loops, page scroll. Start an animation, new animation. So on it's I think it's just basically start and end. Move move. This is its regular state. It's maybe like zero. It's moving states will be somewhere along the lines of here. Let me see if there's something that works here. What? <laughs> the fuck is this? Okay, yeah. well, that, that, that's that's clearly not what what we wanted to do. So let's just quietly delete it. Um, is it page scroll? It's supposed to be page on page scroll. What page is scrolling? I think it's what page is scrolling. Select action. Play scroll animation. No animation. Add a new animation. In new animation we have move move to start move to end they already updated all those ones move to start is zero move to end hello all right so um move to start is zero which is cool move at the end is going to be this just subtle stuff uh, just subtle stuff then let's save it and then let's review. All right, hold on a minute. So many times, so many times, 
The parallax words. So I think that's that's that about that. We can call it a day. Thank you guys very much. Um, and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Hopefully. Oh, no. Okay, so that's all about that. Thank you guys. Um, thanks for coming around. I will be uploading this video later on. And um, wow, peace.